Hey guys, Thomas the Silly Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie Exposed, featuring Anna D. Ar Armas, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, and Keanu Reeves. In this movie, we follow this woman who appears to be a part of this group, and we see that she's being followed or having taken pictures of, and she goes into the subway and she sees something that catches her attention with this guy who apparently is floating off of the ground or something um, and after witnessing that she decides to tell her family about it and they are kind of surprised and while this is going on we see that a set of murders are taking place and we see Keanu Reeves <clears throat> paying this FBI agent or I believe he's an FBI agent or a cop or something um, who is trying to investigate what is going on. He's asking around and not getting any answers from any of these uh, individuals that he's asking. Um, and while that's going on, we continue to see this woman who's uh, a teacher and she's very religious and she's seeing more and more strange uh, appearances from these very strange strange looking things uh that's what i'll say um this movie definitely fits into the mystery category as i had a lot more questions than answers by the end of it um and there is a lot of trying to fill in the blank as they don't really explain what these things are supposed to be uh i interpreted it as these sort of religious things that are trying to help her uh, go a certain way but again that's my interpretation I'm sure that someone else can interpret it a different way and that is something good about a movie but overdoing it can also harm a movie as well and I don't know where this fits to this movie I don't know if it's overdone or not it's really hard to say um, Keanu Reeves as an FBI agent sort of works as his stern emotion or just sort of focus is pretty good and we do get to see him break down in one point of the movie and the acting in that sense does kind of fluctuate from one thing to another but overall it was interesting to see him break. I think what could have improved this movie is having a better interaction with these two characters as we do see them interact at one point but it is sort of late in the movie and I felt like the connection could have been stronger. It feels like they're two separate stories and near the end they finally intertwined. I think it would have been better to have them interact earlier and just sort of to have some sort of interaction with each other. I don't know if that would have helped or not. Um, there are other things that are going on, like the woman is seeing this little girl, and again, what is there is left to interpretation, I feel like, but I don't know if they're trying to go for something specific. It's, it's very unclear. Um, and again, I guess that does fit into the mystery, the mystery genre. Um, so overall, I think this movie landed for me somewhere in the middle, which is why I'm going to give it like a 5 or 6 out of 10, somewhere in between there. Um, like I said, I feel like the interaction between the characters would have helped a bit more if they set it up that way uh, I mean usually you know uh, the, when Keanu Reeves gets this picture um, of the woman he's like oh she's just gonna end up dead I shouldn't even bother um, and I felt like he probably should have known like that group and may, maybe should have reacted to them sooner I, I don't know if that would have helped set up what happens at the end I don't know it's just it's an interesting movie but I feel like some of the blanks here 
I think they were just a bit too much and not enough was explained, but and not enough was left to interpretation like these apparitions were they supposed to be angels like that's where I'm leaning towards or were they demons I mean she was afraid of them I mean she was running away from them so I don't know uh the performances like I said they kind of fluctuated and overall it's a it's an okay movie um it is interesting I will say that I think that's where I'm like leaning towards the six rather than a five or something I don't know it is interesting and I felt like if they just switched some elements here and there that this could have worked a bit better like I said the interactions between these two characters in particular probably would have helped maybe um, other than that go give it a check out if you want to see this movie anyways my name is Thomas Cecilia Jr. aka Mustache Chom and I'll see you guys next time.